TorahCafe.com. When the Germans entered the town of Eschershuk, slaughtering the residents, a group of 29 Jews escaped by being sheltered in the homes of Christian Poles. Local partisans eventually freed the town of German rule. The Jews returned to their homes on October 20, 1944. Shortly after, they were attacked by a mob of anti-Semitic Poles. Four-year-old Jaffa Eliach was downstairs sleeping in bed when the Poles entered and shot her mother and baby sister. After the war, there was definitely um, a great uh, pain and most of all, anger. Uh, people felt that nobody knows who they are, from where they came, um, what their families were all about. Eliach decided that the only way to move forward was not by cataloging the hatred, but by recapturing the beauty of Jewish life that had been destroyed. She spent decades researching her Lithuanian hometown and authoring the award-winning There Once Was a World, a 900-year chronicle of the shtetl of Aishashuk. In 1998, Eliach led a tour in which she revisited her hometown of Eshashuk. Many of those on the tour brought along their children and grandchildren, hoping to share with them a cherished past. This center of the Shulhoif was the center of Jewish life. Weddings, all weddings took place Friday afternoon. The bride was walking from her house and was brought here with the klezmer. And the groom was brought from his house by the klezmer here. And everybody was walking with candles or with torches. A lot of the memories came back. I could see exactly my grandma. Uh, on one side of the street, my grandma cats. I could see my other grandma, grandma son and son on the other side of the market. I could even see myself running in the backyard, uh, chasing chickens. And now my granddaughter was running after the after chickens in the same in the same backyard that I did. So it brought wonderful memories of that vanished past. Charged by President Carter to create a suitable memorial for the victims of the Holocaust, Eliach, the granddaughter of prominent Eishishuk photographers Yitzhak Uri and Alta Katz, chose to highlight their work. Today, the memorial that Eliach created is part of the permanent exhibit of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. And it attracts more than a million visitors per year. 
over a thousand photographs line the three-story high Tower of Faces. <laughs> 